Right, good morning. It is Sunday the 12th of March and it is the last couple of days of the river season. So literally in the last couple of weeks my car broke down so the carp sessions have had to go on hold and the only fishing I've been able to do is be coming down a local river stroke stream that runs through the back of the town that I live at. Yes, yeah, so I've been getting lifts down to here. I had a session down here last week and I'm going to be giving it another go this week. Fingers crossed, I'm going to be getting a new car to carry on with the carp fishing as of next week, maybe the week after. But yeah, this is only my second river fishing in a few years really. I did one last week. I had a couple of chub out and I'm going to I'll leave you with that video right now and link it into this one. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this last little short session that I did last week. I'm going to try and say a little bit different today. There's a nice little river across stream that runs through a little area that I live at. So I'm going to be giving this a dabble. Just for a few hours today, I've never fished this river before. So I kind of want to find out what's in here. I suppose it runs for about a mile down the side of a golf course. I've never seen anyone fish it. I drive past it all the time. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting session today. Some of the some of the swim access is non-existent. A lot of steep banks and stuff, but it looks to be some very nice spots. Jesus, straight into a decent fish. Oh my God, that is putting up a decent fight straight away. Wow, I don't even know what that is, but that's... Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> I knew this river would come to absolute beauties. Oh my god. Straight away. I found a worm on the floor. Within a few seconds. We've got a decent chub there. Absolute little beauty. Lovely. Let's put that back. Oh yes, got another one. Oh, this is another decent sized chub as well. Big as the other one, I thought it might be. Look at that. Two or three casts. Another lovely little fish. Look at that. Lovely. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed that little short video. I'm going to be doing a few more hours down here today. Before it's there till four o'clock or something. I think it's about half past 10 now. But we've had a quite a bit of rain and snow over the last few days. So the river is very full, very, full, very coloured. 
So a couple of the swims that I did try last week, like that little tiny weir pool bit, that's pretty much unfishable. It's flowing through so fast over there. I might give it a go in a little while, but I've already walked past that spot. I chucked a handful of maggots in there just in case I do drop in on it. But I did mark up further along the river, probably about a quarter of a mile from here. And it's a lot deeper over here. The majority of this river is between a couple of inches deep and three, three foot deep. But I have found a section of it that runs for about 100, 150 meters. It actually goes down to about eight or nine foot deep. So I'm heading up towards that sort of deeper area right now and hoping that this large amount of water that's come through has pushed a lot of the fish further down. A lot nice, nice bit here. I've got to be careful because the banks, the banks are so, are so wet and they're really steep in some areas. I don't really want to fall into the water so I'm only going to fish sort of the swims that are going to be safe to be fishing it seems to be slowing down in a few places down here so I might find somewhere soon that I can drop a, drop a bait in I'm going to be using some maggots and some withy sweet squid boilies probably whittled down quite a lot but I've dropped in a couple of times this week just to throw a few boilies in different sections of the river a couple of nice looking spots I've got my old school Shimano power loop medium to heavy feeder rod with me lovely old cork handled rod with a quiver tip on the end yeah, I'm hoping I can pick up something but like I did say it has been raining a lot water's very high very coloured but what am I going to do? Sit indoors, doing nothing. I absolutely love fishing. I love being out and about. So I'd rather be out on the river having a session than doing no fishing at all. So we're going to find a nice spot. And I will catch up with you soon. Oh yes. There we go, first fish, little chub. Fish number two. Oh, Jesus, we've got a decent one on now. Oh yes. Look at that. That is a decent fish. That is a very decent fish. Oh. Fighting hard in the deep water. Jesus. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's an absolute donkey, that is. Bring that round this way, I think, somehow. Look at that. 
it's a decent, decent fish. Here we go. Have a look at that. Absolutely stunning chub. Really, really big fish. That's a good five or six pounds that is. Look at the size of it. Look at the length on that. Absolute big fish. Love it. Go on. That's my best chub out of this river so far. Second session. I've had a couple of little ones today. But that is an absolute donkey. Absolutely buzzing with that cap chub. That was a very decent chub. Up a really, really good fight. And I had that one on a whittled down squeet squid boilie from the Wivy range. I'm telling you, carp, chub, everything's loving that bait at the moment, no matter where I put it. Right, headed back down towards the bottom end of the river. I've probably got about a 15, 20 minute walk down the bottom of the river. If I find anything on the way, I might have a little chuck in or something, but definitely one spot I do want to fish. I'm getting picked up at about half past four. It means I've got about roughly an hour left. But yeah, that spot definitely paid off with that unit of a chub. Really, really happy with that, especially in these conditions of the water being as high up as it is and fast flowing and coloured. But even on the rivers, they're still out there ready to be caught. Just find those slack bits of water and fingers crossed like me, you'll do all right. Yeah, I'm gonna keep walking down. Maybe have a little chuck up in a couple of places. Just see what happens, really. There you go. Some stuff in my net. Lovely little fish. Oh, I didn't have that cam camera on for that last take, but that was another decent sized chub. Around about two and a half, three pounds, I suppose. About half the size of that first one I had, that first big one. It was a good five or six pounds, really, really nice fish. But that was really nice condition as well. I said, I don't think any of these fish have ever seen a hook before. But it's just nice to have a little walk down a river now and again. Catch a few chub. Something I haven't done since I was a little kid, really. Fishing on the river for chub. But I've, I will come back at some point and have a little dabble because it's just, I don't know what's in here. There's got, there might even be a few barbel in here, possibly the odd carp or two. So I think it's definitely worth a shout, definitely worth a little look into again at some point. I'll walk it again. I won't fish it next time. I'll probably walk this place with a bit of bread and stuff like that, see if I can get anything to take on the surface. Normally carp will have a bit of bread off the surface in rivers and stuff like that, especially somewhere as well out the way as this place is. Really not a lot of people know about it, I don't think. I haven't seen any fishing line anywhere. I haven't seen, I haven't seen really anything. And the fish I have caught have been absolutely pristine. I've caught loads of little chub, absolutely loads of them probably about 40 and then a good couple of size chub as well so yeah it just goes to show this is a nice healthy river and I'm not going to overfish it or anything like that I'm going to tell loads and loads of people about it there will be a few people I tell they can have a little go down here with their kids and stuff like that that's what it's all about sharing the love a little bit yeah I'm going to crack on see what else I can find Oh yes, there's a load of bubbling up going off on the corner of those reeds because I baited up that little spot earlier and that feels like a very nice chub. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. Oh. Oh, 
And look at that. Took off like a rocket. Absolute rocket. What a lovely, lovely little chub. Probably around about a two pound. Two pound mark, two and a half pound if I'm lucky. Another lovely fish. And it's still bubbling up like mad down there. I should be able to get another. That's the end of that little river session done. The closed season on the river starts in two days, I believe, the 14th of March. And I think that runs all the way up to June the 14th as well. So well, it doesn't really matter for me anyway, unless I'm carp fishing on the river, which I probably won't be for the rest of the season. I'll be concentrating on the syndicate. Club water, maybe Nash Royston, Green Lagoon as well. But yeah, 20th of April, I've got, what have I got? I've got five or six weeks booked off work, and that's just going to be some solid carp fishing. That is, that's going to be absolutely brilliant. So yeah, it'd be good to get your support on that one. If you can, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, five or six weeks of pure carp fishing. I'm all booked off of work. Really, really looking forward to that one. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Loads of carp I'm going to catch. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But I'm going to get out of here now because I've got someone coming to pick me up. But yeah, good luck out there. Tight lines. I hope you bag some. And I'll see you soon.